Hello friends, we are looking here the chapter number 3, Theories of Output and Employment. In the previous lecture, we discussed on about the classical theory of the employment and here we are looking the another part, an important part of the classical theory, the J.B. says law of market. Because the classical theory of employment is mostly based on the J.B. says law of the market. So here we looking the J.B. says law of market, the topic number 3. There are the, we looking the some views of the employment, the classical theory of employment and the detail, the J.B. says theory of employment. And the critics of the Keynes on the classical theory, Keynesian theory of employment output and the critics on the Keynesian theory by the other economics. So there are the different views about the employment in the economics. The question of employment is the important for every person and the nation. That's why the study of employment is included in the macroeconomics. The trade cycle creates some issues in the economy. The issues like the, the deflation and the unemployment and these issues are the study particularly in the economics. How to sort out these issues? So here are the three views. The different views about the employment, the classical theory of employment, which is the explained by the Adam Smith, J. B. C., Professor Pigou, Marshall, J. S. Mill, Robertson, and Fisher. So, thought from the Adam Smith to the, to the Great Depression 1930 is called the classical thought and the classical theory. The Keynesian theory of employment explained in 1936 by the John Maynard Keynes and some of the modern views of the employment, the Milton Friedman. Baumol, Tobin, Moji Gilani. But in the exam point of view, we looking the two theories only in this chapter, the classical theory and Keynesian theory. So what is mean by the classical theory of employment? The theory of Adam Smith, David Ricardo, Dr. Marshall, J. S. Mill, J. B. C. Professor P. U. Robertson Fisher, their thought about the employment, it's called the classical theory. So the thought in present economics from the Adam Smith to till 1930 is called the classical thought of economics. The term of classical equations was first used by Karl Marx and described in his economic thought of the David Ricardo and his predecessors including the Adam Smith. So classical theory of employment is the mostly based on G. B. Say's law, John Baptist says law of the market. What is its law? Law of the G. B. Say is about the every supplier creates in its own demand. So every supply creates its own demand means supply is always equal to demand and supply is important than demand according to theory. So the classical theory of employment is the model is direct indirectly based on the sales law of market. The analysis of classical economics was either micro or specific only according to Keynes the classical economics referred to the traditional or orthodox principle of the economics that had come accepted by several well-known economics. In fact, the Keynes also acknowledged some principle of the classical economics but reject the principle of the legislature and there is no intervention and Keynes think that there is need of intervention. So, JBC is the important given contribution to about his law. So, what is JBC's law? JBC's law of market which is he present in his book in the 1803 the tries on the political economy means the thesis on political economy he presented in 1803 and this uh, law has provided the foundation to classical theory and what is this law? His law is the every supply creates in own demand. So explanation of the JVC law theory the every supply creates its own demand means the this means the manufacturer uh, produce the own demand for goods. So, in the economy, the production of every goods creates sufficient quantity of demand for that goods. So, every product sold in the market according to this theory. So, according to J.S. Mill, the production is only reason for the demand. So, that's why the first is the important to supply, produce the goods and supply into the market and ultimately the final demand will be created because the whenever they produce the some goods they need the some factor of the production the some factor of production get the income and the income spent on the goods means they create the demand in market so supply creates its own demand 
So assumption of the sales law of market, he assumes that the perfect competition market, a large number of buyers, large number of sellers, the home is used of goods, the same price, the absence of third cost, means the perfect competition assumed by the GBC. The equilibrium position is also he mentioned in his theory the price of goods are stable in equilibrium position according to JBC. According to JBC, saving and investment is the equal position because the rate of interest is the factor which is the uh, common both saving and investment because higher rate of interest, the higher saving, lower rate of interest, the lower saving. And other point of view, the lower rate of the interest, the higher investment, the higher rate of interest the lower investment. So, rate of interest create equilibrium between saving and investment according to JV say and the classical theory. All income of the society is spent. So, income is equal to expenditure, the income earning and spending, there is no gap between these two. The income is divided by the consumption and saving and the expenditure is equal to consumption plus investment. So, that is why demand is equal to the supply according to JV says theory and classical theory. The other uh, assumption, the price average cost and the wage rate is equal to marginal productivity. The payment paid to the production factors is equal to their marginal productivity. Means whatever they are added into the total productivity and, and that uh, point of view they get the remunerative part and income. So the marginal productivity is equal to wage rate. So wage rate is equal to their marginal productivity. So, the real wage rate of the worker is the same in marginal productivity within their range. In the long run, real wage creates the balance between the demand and supply of the workers to bring the full employment level in economy according to their theory. The next is the closed economy. According to the, uh, their point of view, there is no uh, international transaction between the countries, no uh, import-export between the countries for the closed economy. The no government intervention means the government no play any role in the economy. If the government intervenes in the economy, they create the uh, employment. So there is no need of the intervention of the government in the economy. The next assumption um, for their theory, money is used for only medium of exchange. With uh, JB say and classical economists think that the money is used for the only transaction purpose. There is no other function of the money like the uh, store of value, defer the, of the payment, the transfer, the ownership from one place to another place, transferability, these kind of the functions they are not uh, considered in their theory. So in short run money is used for only medium of exchange according to their theory. There are no limitation to the expansion of market, market is expanded unlimitedly according to the JBC's theory and there uh, demand is equal to supply theories exist in long run. So long run their tendency they create in the economy the equilibrium, demand equal to supply and full employment according to GB sales law theory. The explanation of his theory, the supply equal to demand. So every supply case is demand. According to him, the principle accepted by the production of goods will be always equal to their demand. So every goods is produced, the sold in the market. The supply of goods is always equal to demand, so it does not create the situation of surplus production or overproduction and there is no general unemployment in economy. So every production produced in economy is sold in the market. So according to barter system existence, the every person need to consume certain goods for his consumption. So he sold some goods and uh, purchased the other goods. Uh, with the income, whatever he get from the sold. So, barter system is exist. This means the every manufacturer, consumer sell his goods and another goods buy from the manufacturers. So, every person goods his, uh, sell his goods and purchase the another goods. So, sells everything in the market and not create the excess supply or production. There is no imbalance in the market according to his theory. In the short run, there may be imbalance, demand and supply, but remove the price mechanism in long run according to his theory. And saving and investment factor are equal to each other. In such situation, always saving equal to investment, income equal to expenditure, and demand for money equal to supply of money. At point, there is a price, goods are the stable. 
Therefore, this does not mean the insufficient of demand and supply in the country. The economy is constantly equilibrium position of the full employment level and there is no chance of the unemployment. Sales law of market we can explain with the example. The, here we looking the example number one. Suppose there are the A, B, C, three goods are produced in the economy and for production of the uh, first good we need the other two ones. So whenever we want to produce A goods we need the B and C factors and whenever we want to produce the B we need C and A and when we want the C we also demand for A and B. So out of these three goods any goods production will be increased there is increase the demand of other two goods. So there is the ABC goods supply is equal to ABC goods demand according to sales law of market. Every supply creates its own demand. Suppose there is the we want increase in the production of 10 crore rupees in economy. Therefore the, we increase the supply of the factor of goods. We give the payment 10 crore rupees of factors. Therefore the, we need the some people into the employer, we give the income to these people 10 crore rupees and these 10 crore rupees they uh, spend for the demand of goods for their needs and finally the supply will be equal so 10 crore rupees equal to 10 crore so supply creates its own demand according to JB saying. The next example of this theory according to the circular flow there is a two factor in the economy, the firm sector and household sector, two sectors. The firms, they provide the uh, income to the household, they purchase the factor of production, give the payment rent, wages and interest and household, they purchase the goods and services from the firms and spending the money for these goods. So 10 crore rupees is given by the firms to the household in form of the factor payment and also given the payment in form of the goods remuneration. So the income is equal to the expenditure. So surplus flow means the demand is equal to supply according to sales law of market. So implication of sales of market, there is a always full employment economy because the supply is equal to demand. There is no overproduction and there is a no unemployment full employment situation equilibrium in the economy. According to him, there is the self-existing economic system, price mechanism, there is the create the equilibrium between the these two, there is no intervention of government. The next is the unemployment does not exist because of there is no overproduction, the, every goods sold in the market, so supply is equal to demand, there is no unemployment in the economy. So wage rate reduction policy according to them, there is the wage rate uh, reduction is possible whenever the unemployment creates in the economy wage rate and price is reduced and the reduce uh, the unemployment and create the full employment economy. So no general overproduction is possible because the demand is always uh, equal to supply, supply is equal to demand and the every goods is sold in the market because every income spent on their consumption and expenditure income equal to expenditure. The flexibility of the rate of interest and that's why they create the saving equal to investment. This is the implication of the sales law. So but in the 1936 the J.M. Keynes criticized uh, sales law of market. So classical theory is a very popular till to the 1929 and 30 but after get depression there are certain issues created of the unemployment and the recession and the classical theory and JBC theory not given answer of these issues that's why the Keynes criticized the theory of the uh, classical employment and sales of market and after that the classical theory was failed analysis of employment and phases of the trade cycle like recession, depression the Keynes explained his theory in 1936 the general theory of employment interest and money and criticize the sales law of market and also the classical theory. So Keynes vehemently criticized the classical theory of employment and sales law of market. So J.M. Keynes is given contribution to criticize of sales law of market. So what is criticism on the sales law of market? First is the unreleased consumption. The assumption like the close economy 
and the other one like the perfect competition the perfect competition is not exist in reality and there is no close economy in today's world every economy is transact with the orders and export import so unrealistic assumption according to keynes the next the there is not always full employment because the every country is facing the problem of unemployment so exceptional case is the full employment but there is the always unemployment so not always a full employment according to economists the neglect the other function of money according to keynes and other economics the money is also used for the store of value money is used for the standard of deferred payment the transfer the ownership from one place the other place the transferability so there are many functions of the money which is neglected by the classical economics and say the saving and investment is not equal to each the other because the saving uh group is a differ and the uh, investment group is also differ so there is a difference between the saving and investment the saving is depend on the not only the interest also depend on the income of the person higher income higher saving and investment is also depend on the rate of interest and the marginal efficiency of capital so there is a different group of saving saver and the investor so there is not always great saving equal to investment the wage cut policy is the important because in today's world there is no accept the uh, workers about their the cut down their wages because the trade union is now these days is the very strong they not agree with the reduction of the wage rate so wage rate policy is the impossible the next critics on the sales law of market is the wrong explanation about the supply of demand because the supply is not important in today's world the demand is important that's why the promotion is made by the companies and give advertisement of their goods before of the launching of goods before of launching of product so supply is not create the demand of every time which is the not see in in the period of 1929 so wrong explanation about supply equal to demand the unequal distribution of the income whenever the income is uh, unequal distribution the there create the poverty unemployment and inflation that time they need the government intervention for the distribution equally uh, among the people so unequal distribution uh, that time we need the interference of the government so uh, they not thinking about the intervention of the government the wrongful explanation of self adjust economy there is a not self adjust economy because there are some drawback of the price mechanism certain sort Uh, some of the issue certain issue need to the government intervention the issue like the unemployment poverty unemployment and that's why there uh, there is a no self adjustment economy next is need of government intervention in today's world the government role is the important to to create the employment opportunity for the people to remove the pandemic situation like the covid 19 we need the government and government role and this corona pandemic we need the intervention of government and create the employment so need of government is the important which is the neglect by the jbc and classical economics they neglect the short run analysis according to keynes in the long run we all are died so what is will be happen in the short run it is the important so short run analysis is the important which is neglect by the jbc and the classical economics summary of the theory the jb sale of market is the says that the every supply creates its own demand and supply is equal to demand this law is provide a foundation to classical economic theory this means the production of every goods the create sufficient quantity of demand for their uh, produce goods and every production produced in the economy sold in the market every supply creates its own demand the supply goods is always to equal the demand so that does not create the situation of excess of production or production and general unemployment in economy in short term if there is maybe any imbalance in the demand and supply it's removed by the past mechanism and the long run the demand and supply equal to each other the supply is equal to demand so here is the in the sales law of market you can refer the ml jingan macroeconomic theory hl auger macroeconomic theory 
then Drasa RG, SPADA, Business Economics, Macro, Persian Publication, these books you also use for your study. The assignment question, what is question will be asked in examination, the explains sales law of market in detail, this question will be asked for the 15 marks. So, JV says law of market, every supplier creates its own demand, the law, introduction, the assumption, the example and critics, these type or the point you mention your answer. The thank you for watching this video. Next time we uh, watch the next point, the Keynesian theory of employment. Thank you.